for your series and same thing if your x of t is real and even if your x of t is real and even in frequency domain in frequency domain your x of j omega is x of j omega will be sir in your fourier series it used to be real and even sir ah uh, here is also real and even what sir the same thing ha huh? is the same cheez hai na both are the fourier trans fourier representation of a signal no how it the things will going to change if your x of t is real and odd if your x of t is in real and odd in frequency domain your x of j omega will same as that of imaginary and imaginary and odd sir absolutely correct please remember very very important for your um gate exam in a session region question now coming back to our actual like main main point of discussion very important discussion this discussion holds like this three discussion that i'm going to do it's very very important of fourier transform it's a core concept of fourier transform i'll not say this core concept it's a very important concept and a lot of questions are asked from this con concept very simple thing if you having a x1 t whose fourier transform is x1 j omega if you having a x2 t whose fourier transform is x2 j omega and your your x2 t x2 t in it it is given obviously in time domain it looks like as that of like fourier transform of something like it is in time domain na for example it is in time domain like something like for example e to the power minus for example minus j omega once i do any example na then only you can understand here you just need to take the like assumption like it will be given as uh, something like that uh, a by um a plus j t like a plus t for example okay now if you replace this t by j omega now this became a actual matlab actual value actual value actual fourier transform value of some definite like सम सिग्नल का ये फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म जैसे लगता है लेकिन ये ऐसा गिवन नहीं है एक्स टू टी गिवन क्या है ए वाई ए प्लस टी ऐसे करके गिवन है यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस पॉइंट बट यू यू कैन नॉट लाइक डू यू 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 कैन डू द इंटीग्रेशन एंड टेक आउट द फोरियर ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एक्स टू जे ओमेगा इट इज आस्ट कि फाइंड आउट द एक्स टू जे ओमेगा इफ योर एक्स टू टी इज लाइक दिस so you can take this assumption while solving the question ki okay it looks like a fourier transform of something if i am replacing t by j omega so you just need to replace it you just need to replace it and then you need to make it equal that of x1 j omega once you do that no once you do that you need to find out the x subsequent x1 t agar ye aisa hota to kaisa hota wahi hota hai duality <laughs> okay a plus j omega you need to replace it by j omega and you need to find out its subsequent subsequent time domain signal the subsequent time domain signal of this function would be a into e to the power minus at ut okay this will be its subsequent time domain signal now the fourier transform that is asked x to j omega is you need to replace this t by j omega uh, minus j omega and you need to multiply with 2 pi okay you do not understand anything by like telling you like in this way normally you'll only understand if we solve a question okay we'll solve a very beautiful question in a lot of lot of we're going to solve actually lot of questions uh but i'm trying my best to quickly finish all these properties and for your transform of some important signals like formalities all the disciplines i'm finishing quickly so that we'll so we'll skip into the so that uh, we uh, get into the Uh, actual analysis actual uh, lot of questions and gate uh, got gate and engineering service questions okay so for this 2 to 3 lecture video please bear with me i'm 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 actually going to discuss a book level thing even i'm giving you a lot of contents from a book only okay this is a very simple way and in a well structured way i'm representing it to you okay it's a very simple thing if you have a x1 t which is whose fourier transform is x1 j omega and x2 t whose transform is x2 j omega and x1 j omega and x2 j uh, x2 t x1 j omega and x2 t both look similar 
okay and it is asked you what is x2 j omega you need to find out x2 j, j omega it is given x2 t is given and you need to find out x2 j omega what will the value of x2 j omega you can clearly see x2 t is in a format of some Fourier transform Agar you, you are replacing t by j omega it will give you like something like x1 j omega okay now you need to find out the subsequent x1 t if you find out the subsequent x1 t of this x1 j omega then the x2 j omega will nothing but the replacement of x1 t uh, the replacement of t by minus j omega and multiplied by 2 pi clear you'll understand you'll understand while while uh, we'll get into the actual subject now area under frequency domain signal very important look here carefully area under frequency domain signal x of j omega d omega okay integration minus infinity to infinity wherever x of j omega's integration is happening remember in convolution also in the property of convolution also we saw in frequency domain in uh, integrate in the frequency domain convolution we are having a uh, integration here so whenever any frequency domain integration is happening please remember please add please add one 1 by 2 pi multiplication factor you can see here clearly in convolution also we got a integration here no look here in convolution we also got a hey, see frequency domain convolution we got integration in frequency domain whenever there is any integration is happening in frequency domain please do multiply 1 by 2 pi it's a shortcut okay it's a very bad shortcut okay you can take it or you can skip it okay that value will nothing but x of 0 so what is x of 0 array agar x of t ka agar x of t ka Fourier transform x of x of j omega hai if the Fourier transform of xt is x of j omega, then x of 0, x of 0, x of just find out x of 0, that will be nothing but area under frequency domain signal. Clear? Similarly, area under time domain signal, what will be the value if your x of t dt minus infinity to infinity? What is the area under time domain signal? That will be nothing but x of j omega ki jaga pe 0 dal do clear this concept now Parseval's relation very important properties these two are very useful in final value theorem and initial value theorem in Laplace time domain very important gate exam point of view very important very important very important properties Parseval's theorem we know energy in time domain energy in time domain and energy in frequency domain okay energy in time domain and energy in frequency domain so let's find out energy in time domain which is nothing but e equals to x of t mod square dt simple minus infinity to infinity energy in frequency domain is nothing but energy equals to 1 by 2 pi obviously when there is an integration there must be 1 by 2 pi please remember this thing huh? in the most of the cases it's not all the cases most of the cases except just to remember a lot of formulas I gave you this trick this Ginona trick I'm really sorry for that uh, x of j omega mod k square into d omega now Parseval theorem states that this value is equal to this value that's it that's a Parseval theorem that is energy in time domain is equals to energy in frequency domain in in a simple language I can say Parseval relation says very simple language if x1 t Fourier transform of x1 t is x of j omega then this factor x of t mod square dt is nothing but equals to 1 by 2 pi minus infinity to infinity x of j omega mod square d omega the same thing so if the Fourier transform of x of t is x of j omega the energy in time domain will equal to the energy in frequency domain with right, this we are done with the properties of Fourier transform please go through all these properties do not follow like through these notes do write it down all these notes in your language in your terms in your handwriting and go through it like again and again before the exam after the exam or whatever time that you are having Please go through all these properties. Very important for your exam point of view. It will going to help you. Okay. 
Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video lecture. We'll get into Fourier transform, Fourier transform of some very, very important signals. Okay, till then, bye.